Yeah, I'm Dr. Chabra. I'm an eye specialist. I'm in Dubai since 1984. I had a chance to listen to Dr. Zagir a few times, and it's always fun to listen to him every time. He's so informative, so educative, so eye-opener, and I always enjoy asking him some questions. So I'm lucky to be the first to ask him the question. My first question is, you said the holy place is in the center so that it is equal from everywhere. But to my mind, I may be wrong or right, the God is all-prevailing, omnipotent, omnipresent, omniverse. Then he need not to be present in one place. He is everywhere. Well, non-Muslim brothers asked a good question. And I enjoy hearing my talk, I enjoy asking questions. And I enjoy answering your question, brother. He asked the question that God is omnipotent, omnipresent, so why should he be in the center? Brother, when you heard my answer, I think you misunderstood. I never said God is present in the center. I didn't say that. I said the Kaaba is in the center, not God. Kaaba is the Qibla, the direction. And the Kaaba is only direction for unity. When we worship Almighty God, we face in one direction for unity. Not that God is only there. Quran clearly says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 177, it is not righteousness that you turn your face to the east and west. It is righteousness that you believe in Allah. So you misunderstood. Kaaba is the Qibla direction. So for unity, they have kept the direction in the center. God is not in the center. God is on the arsh. He is on the throne. What we realize that for unity, we have to face in one direction. So the Kaaba for unity has been kept in the center. So all the different people, different human beings from different parts of the world can face for unity in one direction because we believe when we offer prayers in Salah, we believe in congregation, believe in unity. Hope that answers the question, brother. I have a very simple question. You know Sikhism, the foundation stone or Amritsar, Guru Mandar was given a chance to a Muslim by the name Mia Mir. Why, on the contrary, you say a non-Muslim cannot go to the house of God? What's your comments about it? Brother, how am I? I said, Alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Am I tired? I never get tired of answering questions to non-Muslims. I never get tired. You're have, very kind. I have my flight tomorrow, 11 o'clock morning. You're fine. very kind. So for me, no problem. I love it. The more you ask questions, the more energy I get. You ask the question that a Muslim laid the foundation of Amritsar. Then the why? Temple. Sorry? The golden temple. Golden the temple. Holy, the holy temple. Laid the foundation. So why can't non-Muslims go to Makkah? Whether I give the answer in my talk. If, if someone has permitted, maybe Amritsar is not a place of sanctuary. It's not a cantonment area. Makkah and Madina is a cantonment area. You can go to any other mosque. If you want to go to the mosque of Dubai, I will take you. Brother, it's the most you want to come to the Sikh religion, Amritsar, Golden Temple. I know that. I know that very well, brother. But it may not be as sacred as our Makkah and Madina. If you want to go to any other mosque, you're most welcome, I will take you. But these two mosques, as I mentioned in my answer, they are the cantonment area and you require a visa. The visa to go to Makkah and Medina, these two mosques will say with your tongue, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. If you don't get visa, you cannot go there. If I recite those verses, can I go there? Yes, if you recite and you believe, you can, no one can stop you. That's no problem. So you want to recite those verses? To go there or because you believe in it? I did hear you re repeated these verses with the other people. I huh? did hear. And so I do you believe in it? Oh, it's easy to repeat. No, no, do you repeat? Do it's you believe in it? It's, it's a fact. It's there. It's a fact and the fact should be believed. Oh, so do you believe that there's one God? There is. Do I you believe in it. And do you believe that Prophet Muhammad is a messenger of God? By, without any doubts, yes. So he person is the who, last prophet, yes. So a person who believes there's no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is a messenger is a Muslim. So if you say yes. this and you believe that, no one can stop you to go to Makkah and Medina. I am, principally I am a true Muslim because I surrender to the Mashallah, of the Mashallah. So would you like to say it in Arabic? Congratulations, brother. Would you like to repeat it in Arabic, brother?
Would you like to repeat in Arabic? I don't mind. Okay. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Anna. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Abdu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bear witness. I bear witness. I'm saying in English the translation. I bear witness. I bear witness. Bear witness that there is no God. That there is no God. But Allah. But Allah. And Prophet Muhammad. And Prophet Muhammad is is the messenger. Is the messenger and servant of Allah. And the servant of Allah. Servant of Allah. Mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs> Brother, may Allah reward you. We welcome you to the fold of the religion of peace. And inshallah, when you want to go to Makkah and Madina, please let me know. I will sponsor your trip. Thank you inshallah. very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. Inshallah. I like your spirit. I like yourself. God bless you. Keep spreading this message. People need it. World need it. World needs a peace. World needs the peace leaders like you. My blessings with you. My good wishes with you.